complex system must be done on an empty stomach and should never be used when the following medical conditions exist. Pregnancy, uncontrolled high blood pressure, and glaucoma. Taking control of your life is as simple as taking a breath. Twenty minutes a day of deep breathing exercises clearly, dramatically escalates athletic performance and is the single most important factor in the effectiveness of all exercise. U.S. Olympic Training Committee. Deep breathing techniques, which increases oxygen to the cell, are the most important factors in living a disease-free and energetic life. Dr. Otto Warburg, President of Institute of Cell Physiology, Nobel Prize winner. Deep breathing exercises will dramatically improve conditions of headaches, PMS, stress, cellulite, and emphysema. Prevention Magazine. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. I'm going to show you what to do to get something. It's called Body Flex. I'm Greer Childers. Welcome to What You Want. What we all want. A facelift, a tummy tuck, and a complete body lift without surgery in just 20 minutes a day. No diets, no pills, no equipment needed. Well, the only equipment you need is the equipment you were born with. Remember. The exercise program you can do is the one you will do. At nearly 50, and mother of three grown children, all weighing over 10 pounds at birth, and me, over 200 pounds at each delivery, there is nothing anybody can tell me about being out of shape. In fact, I had three physicians tell me it was impossible for me to ever have a flat stomach again, let alone muscle tone. And I can't tell you the years I spent getting up tired, going to work tired, coming home tired, and going back to bed tired, day after day after day. Sound familiar? You know, you don't have to be 100 pounds overweight to be out of control, because being thin is totally different than being fit. Being thin and flabby is definitely no better than being big and solid. And I don't even want to think about the time and money we have all spent trying to arrive. And here we sit disgusted and dissatisfied. If you implement this program correctly, you will never go to the gym again and you will never look at another diet. Jump for joy. The basic statement on this program is that you can live a normal life. This program teaches you how to control your body fat with something other than food. This program is not about food. The backbone of all exercise is to achieve an aerobic state to burn excess body fat. But what is aerobic? Most people think it's running back and forth across the gym floor. But Webster's Dictionary explains it simply, oxygen to the body. What we know is that running, jogging, jazzercise, and the like is simply a technique to get us to change our short, shallow tidal breathing that we're so used to, to deep diaphragmic breathing to expand the lung capacity totally. No one ever said you had to run or jump to get aerobic. The aerobic part of all exercise comes in the breathing, not the activity. Energy comes from oxygen, and when you increase the oxygen flow to your body, you automatically, dramatically increase your energy level. We know aerobic breathing burns excess body fat overall, but what about this big inch loss we've heard all about for our problem areas like our waist, abdomen, hips, thighs, and derriere? Well, this is where the positions come into play. Any time you put a stretch or a stress on a particular area of the body, you create the need for more blood to the area of stress. In other words, if you were to get hit in the arm real hard, in about 10 seconds, your arm would turn red. That's blood running to the area of stress. Or if you were to get cut, your arm would start to bleed. Again, blood rushing to the area of stress. So you see, you have the ability to direct the oxygenated blood to the areas that you want to immediately reduce and tighten up.
You know, all exercise works exactly the same way. The most important part is to get the oxygenated blood to the working muscle group and that working muscle group's ability to utilize the oxygen delivered. You know, we've all been in a similar position, going to the gym for three months and working out. At the end, we look at ourselves and we look bigger rather than smaller. We look bigger because we are bigger. We have built muscle under existing fat. You know, my idea of an ideal body is a ballet dancer. Lean, flexible, and very little, if any, excess body fat. And you know, their whole fitness regime is built on breathing and stretching. With this accelerated aerobic breathing technique combined with isometric and isotonic positions, we together are going to redesign your bottom line. <laughs> For the next little while, it's going to be you and me together alone. I want you to lock the door and turn the phone off and really concentrate on what we're going to do. We're going to start with the breathing technique. And it starts like this. Feet go about shoulder length apart. And I want you to bend down or pretend like you're sitting down in an invisible chair. Hands will go above the knees and you'll put your weight on your arms. And you look a little bit like an umpire. First thing, exhale the stale air out of your lungs. Great, try it with me. Easy enough. The next thing we're going to do is after we've exhaled, I'm going to say stop, put your lips together and pull big and fast through your nose expanding the lungs and filling the lungs to capacity. Watch first. <sighs> now, I don't know if you've ever taken a breath like that, but if you haven't, you might find yourself with a little bit of lightheadedness, but that's very normal until you get used to the system. So let's try it together. We'll start from the beginning and connect the steps that we've learned so far. Are you ready? Let's exhale. Stop. Put your lips together. Inhale hard. Well, stand up a little bit. Stretch out. You're probably not used to bending down like that. So what we're going to do next is I want you to put your lips together like this. Now we're going to learn how to exhale. In conventional exercise, it looks like this. The inhale looks like this, and the exhale looks like this. What we're going to do is the exhale is going to be a diaphragmic exhalation, and it's going to sound a little bit like this. Lips together. It comes from down here rather than up here. You'll notice the wheezing sound. If you've got the wheezing sound, you're on the right track. I want you to try it with me. Lips together. Now, it's not to sound like this. Coming from up here. It needs to come from way down here. One more time. Now, you may start to cough a little bit, but that's just cleaning your lungs out. And that's what you want to do. So let's start from the very beginning. We'll connect all three steps together that we've learned so far. We'll exhale. We'll pull in big through our nose, and then we'll exhale, diaphragmic exhalation. Let's try it. Pretty different, isn't it? Pretty different than the normal shallow tidal breathing that we're so used to doing. Let's try it again. And take your time. Take your time to exhale. Take your time to inhale. And definitely take your time to diaphragmically exhale. All right, the next step is the most important part of the whole process. Because this is where we take our stomach and all of our organs and roll them up underneath our rib cage. Now what we have done when we've exhaled is we've created a vacuum. There is nothing left. So when we exhale, 
we then stop breathing. We bow our head and we suck our stomach in without breathing. I'm going to demonstrate it to you. I want you to watch first, and then we'll do it together. But I want you to watch how this is going to be put together in the system. I'll go through the whole thing. You hear that vacuum gasp in the end? That's because I've created a vacuum, and when I open my mouth, I gasp. I'm going to turn to the side so you can get a better view of what we call the abdominal lift. Again, you'll be taking your stomach and your organs and realigning your digestive system in the process. But you'll be able to see it roll up, and if you keep your eye on my stomach, you'll be able to see it roll down. Pretty unusual, isn't it? This particular technique puts you in an aerobic state within about 30 to 45 seconds, which takes you in conventional exercise about 30 minutes. Do it along with me this time. Let's try it together. All steps connected. This is a very unusual technique, and it's something that only gets better with practice. What we're doing is we're working the lungs and the heart, and we're working the muscles around them. You will find that your stamina, endurance, and strength just elevates immediately. Your energy level will escalate from day one. We're going to be moving on to positions, because I have one for every area that we've got problems. Lower abdomen, upper abdomen, side flab outer thighs, inner thighs, quads, and hamstrings. We've got upper arm, we've got neck, and we've got our face. And of course, we don't want to forget the waistline and the derriere. I've covered everything. And so, in review, let's try it one more time. And you try it along with me now. We're going to exhale, pull in real big through our nose, filling our lungs to capacity. Then we're going to exhale, diaphragmically exhale as long as we can. We are then going to cut off our airways. In other words, stop breathing. Bow your head and suck your stomach in, holding your breath for at least a count of eight. So let's try it. Well, the important thing about this program is that you need to practice and practice and practice some more. We're ready to move on to positions. <laughs> what you have just learned is the backbone of fitness, aerobic breathing. What we're now going to do is combine that aerobic breathing with isometric, isotonic, and stretch positions. You know, the derriere is an area that I had big problems with. I had no shape. This first position that we're going to do is called the back leg extension. And what it did for me was it lifted and rounded the derriere and gave me some shape. In other words, it kind of works against gravity. I'm going to show you what one looks like and demonstrate it. Then you're going to do it along with me. We get down on our hands and knees, and then we drop to our elbows. We extend one leg straight back without bending our knees. We flex our foot. Pointing is not acceptable. Flexing, because it works the glutes when you flex the foot. We will now do what I taught you in the first part of this tape, the breathing. As soon as you have rolled your stomach up underneath your rib cage, you will then and only then raise your foot as high as it can go and tighten up the glutes. 
Watch me, and then you can go along with me. Your turn. Hands and knees, drop to the elbows, foot straight back and flexed. Do it along with me. <sighs> if you have done this position correctly, you're going to have a burn back here that you haven't had in the past. The hamstring, to me, is the most unattractive area on anyone. This is where we women start to develop cellulite. And all cellulite is is just deposits of fat. So when you increase the circulation to the area that you have cellulite, you'll see day by day the hamstrings start to stretch out and smooth out and your cellulite will start to disappear. The position is called the bending thigh stretch. I'm going to demonstrate it to you, and then I want you to do it along with me. I'm going to turn to the side so you can get a better view. We're going to get in the basic position. We're going to do our breathing. When we get our stomach rolled up, we're then and only then going to straighten our legs up and bend down, grab the back of our ankles, and pull our head toward our knees. Now, don't be discouraged if you can't do this, because I'd be very surprised if you could the first time. So day by day, you'll get better and better. You may start here, day two, day three, and all the way down. But everyone's got to start somewhere, and this is your somewhere. Watch. Wow, your turn, come on. <sighs> wow, what a burn. When I ask my clients about the quads, they say they don't want anything to do with it. Well, what I'm talking about is not big quads like a bodybuilder. What I'm talking about is having some muscle show down the front of your leg in the summertime when you want to wear a pair of shorts. We're going to elongate the muscle and get a lean, tight look rather than a bulky look. Now, if you're interested in that, this next position is one you're going to want to implement into your daily program. It is called the toe pull, and this is one I learned from a ballet company in Houston. You know, Prevention Magazine says that youthfulness in our world is oxygenation and flexibility, and that's exactly what we're learning today. The position is called the toe pull. We, we stretch out on the floor just like this. We grab a hold of our toe, not the foot, just the toe, like I'm doing. Then what we do is we do our breathing, we get our stomach up into the lift position, and then we pull back. Pull, 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 and stretch. And you'll feel an intense stretch right down the front of the leg. Feels great. All right, watch me first, and then you can do it along with me. Your turn. Ready? <laughs> wow. Feels great. next position is the most popular of all because it does so many things. You know, I spent many years of my life with back pain, especially arthritis in my low back. I couldn't even sleep at night. 
this particular position is one that solved my problems. I haven't had a back problem or arthritis pain for five years. What this next one will do is stretch and elongate the spine and takes the pressure off. If you have problems with your back or with arthritis, this is one you may want to incorporate. You can watch me first. It's called the cat. We get on all fours. We do our breathing. When we get our stomach up into the lift position, we're going to pull our back up and stretch it up like this, just like a mad cat. You can see how you're really stretching the spine. You pull it up and round it and hold it and then let it go flat. You start with your back flat. Watch. Try this with me. Boy, I love this position. It solves a multitude of problems. This next position is what I call public enemy number two, outer thighs. It's where we look in the mirror and we've got these lumps on the outsides of our legs. We don't even own a straight skirt because we can't wear one. What we're going to do is learn a position that will eliminate those lumps. And instead of having lumps, it's going to smooth right out. It's called the pretzel. I want you to watch how I'm sitting. Legs crossed out in front of you like this. What we're going to do is put one hand on our knee, the other hand alongside of us. We do our breathing. We get our stomach up in the lift. And as soon as it rolls up under the rib cage, we take this knee and we pull, pull, pull. And you'll feel a tremendous stretch on the outside where we have problems. Now, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And then, of course, you're going to do it with me. I don't think there's a woman on earth that doesn't have a problem with her outer thighs. I used to, but I don't anymore. So let's try it. Ready? <laughs> Woo, feel that stretch. Come on, try it with me. Legs in front of us. One hand alongside, one on the knee. Ready? <sighs> wow. Remember that you hold it for as long as you can. Start out with a count of eight. No more lumps for us. Inner thighs, a place nobody wants to talk about. And I don't know a woman alive that doesn't have problems with her inner thighs. In fact, when we stop walking, our inner thighs keep swinging. Disgusting. This next position we're going to do is going to elongate the inner thigh muscle, tighten it up. So when we stop walking, they stop too. It's called the butterfly. The way it works is we get on our hands and knees. We touch our toes together and back. We slide down on our knees. Now, when I demonstrate this to you first, I'm going to do it from the front. When you do it along with me, I'm going to turn to the side so you can have a better view. When I do my breathing and get my stomach rolled up underneath my rib cage, then I will press down against the floor, pushing my knees further out. You'll feel a tremendous stretch in your upper inner thighs, just where we want them. Watch. Down on your knees, toes touching, slide. 
When you get your stomach in the lift, press your knees even further down toward the floor, separating your knees. Boy, no more swinging thighs for us. One area that most women ask me about is arms. Everybody wants to have well-defined arms. This next position, the diamond, is going to get it for you. The way we're going to do this one is we round our shoulders around and put our fingertips together, just like this, just like a diamond. Then what we're going to do is lean up on our knees, and we do our breathing. When we get our stomach up into the lift position, then we take our fingers and press, press, press. You can probably see the tension in my upper arms. Then we let go. This, in a very short amount of time, you'll be able to see a difference in your upper arms. Let's try it. You watch me first. Boy, that feels good. You try it with me. Fingers together, round your shoulders up now, just so your arms look like a diamond in the shape of a diamond. Just the fingertips together. Don't start pressing until your stomach is up in the lift and you start holding your breath. We'll all have great arms. Turn up the volume. I don't want you to miss a thing. This is the number one area that people have problems with, lower abs. You know, everybody's got a stomach that sticks out. And the reason why is because the stomach falls against the abdominal wall and pushes and stretches because it has no support. This next position is going to lift the stomach and pull it back flat. And we're going to end up with a flat stomach. The position is called the scissors. You can watch me, and then you'll do it with me. We're going to stretch out flat on the floor. Our hands will go under our derriere to protect our back. We'll do our breathing. When our stomach goes up into the lift position, then and only then we'll raise our feet about six inches off the floor and scissors, scissors, scissors. And if you don't think that puts a stress on your lower abs, think again. Watch me first and then you can try it. All of you, down on the floor, do it along with me. <sighs> well, I have a flat stomach, and you can too. Upper abs is another area that we have problems with, right up here. When we put a skirt on and we see an extra loop of skin that hangs over the waistline, that's going to be a thing of the past. What we're going to learn is a position called the holding crunch. Now, we've all seen the crunch, but this is just a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to stretch out, hands behind our neck, and instead of pulling up and down and up and down, we're going to pull up and hold it because that's what puts most tension on the upper abs. We'll keep our head rolled back. What we see most times in the gym is we see people with their chin on their chest pulling up and down like this. 
what happens is they're using their shoulder and their head as the power to bring them up. We want our abs to do the work. And so what we're gonna do is rock our head back and we're gonna pull up and hold, 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 hold. For a count of eight and down. So you can watch me and then come on, we'll do it together. folks do it with me keep your head rocked back pull up and hold it and you'll feel your upper abs just pull <laughs> wow flat stomach up and down this next area is an area that everybody's got problems with, men and women alike. Now, men gather their excess right here in the form of a spare tire or handlebars. We women get it all the way down, so when our husbands give us a pinch on the side, they can get a whole handful. This next position is called the side stretch. This is going to stretch out the side muscles here and eliminate the handlebars. And it happens very quickly. Day by day, you'll look at yourself and those handlebars will start getting smaller and smaller. And we women will start to tighten up. So, I want you to watch me first and then of course we'll do it along together. What we do is we start in our basic position. We get our stomach up into the lift and when it goes up into the lift, we take this foot, stretch it out, take this arm, put it straight up, and bend over and reach, 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 reach. Don't just be happy to just bend your arm like this. You're gonna reach, because you really wanna stretch out so it goes from the arm all the way down to the waistline. And we hold that for a count of eight. Watch me. You'll feel that stretch fast. Try it with me. <sighs> nice and tight. What a stretch. Every exercise program I know about works from the neck down. Not long ago, I taught a renowned plastic surgeon how to do this technique. And he said, Greer, it only makes sense. The facial muscles are just like the muscles in the rest of your body. If you work them, they will respond too. He said that most people start to get sag right in here. And then it works under the eyes and then all over. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the face, we're going to exercise the muscles, and we're going to lift and smooth out the skin. When you bring blood to the skin, you create more elasticity in the skin, which of course gives you a younger look. The name of the technique is called the lion. And some of you may know this, but we've added a few new things to it. You're going to watch me first, and then you'll follow along. It starts with a low O stretching the skin at the bottom part of your face. We'll then accompany it with sticking your tongue out. You can see the stretch. We will then look up so we can work underneath the eyes. And we'll hold our breath for a count of eight. Now I'm going to demonstrate this and then you'll do it along with me. Watch. Wow, bringing blood to the face and oxygenating the blood is the most cleansing thing you can do. 
Besides, skimming ten years off the way you look. Your turn. A renowned surgeon from San Francisco of the stars says, facial exercises reduce, perhaps eliminate the need for plastic surgery and definitely slows down the manifestations of aging. That's for us. <laughs> I don't make any claims that you can look 20 when you're 50. But what I do say is that you can skim years off the way you look just by doing this exercise. One of the areas that I hate most is neck. This particular area becomes very crepey and drapey as we get older. So of course, what we want to do is we want to tighten it up. This particular position is called the ugly face and it's self-explanatory. I'm going to demonstrate it to you, and then you'll do it along with me, if you can keep from laughing. The way it starts is you're going to underbite, which means put your bottom teeth over your top teeth, like this. Feel the stretch. Then you're going to tip your head back and stick your neck out, and you'll feel a tremendous stretch from your chin all the way down. You can watch me do one, and I think you'll get the idea. Okay, your turn. <laughs> no double chin for us. At this point, I'm going to teach you how to put your program together. I want you to go get a pen and a piece of paper. The way we're going to put our program together is we are going to include 40 breaths a day in the morning on an empty stomach. You'll do 10 warm-ups, just like I taught you, standing in position. You can incorporate five face and five neck with that. You might as well get the benefit there, too. Then you'll pick three positions, and you'll do 10 of each. So you'll end up with 40 breaths in the morning. It should take you 18 to 20 minutes to do. Now, if you've got a left and a right, you'll do all one side first, and then go do the other side. So you'll have five left, five right on the arm, or you'll have five left, five right on the leg. You'll end up with 40 breaths a day. Watch your body shrink. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing me to teach you this wonderful program that will change the quality of your life. You will have an opportunity to look better than you've ever looked, feel better than you've ever felt, and live a longer life. You know, we all have dreams of success. Achieve those dreams with Body Flex and breathe your way to a healthier, leaner you. Deep breathing exercises are the most powerful and effective form of stress management. Dr. Dean Ornish, MD, clinical professor of medicine, University of California, author of Reversing Heart Disease. Breathing correctly is the key to better fitness, muscle strength, stamina, and athletic endurance. Dr. Michael Yusis, PhD, president of Sport Training Institute, fitness writer for Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Oxygenation through deep breathing boosts the immune system and can rid the body of chronic illnesses. Dr. Sheldon Hendler, MD, medical researcher, cell oxygenation, author, The Oxygen Breakthrough.